Hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin. I am so glad that you are here. Here on this channel, we're a community of people passionate about talking about life, Jesus, and the journey of faith in a real, honest, and open way. So if that at all interests you, I encourage you to click subscribe down below and join this community of people. Well, hey guys, today's video, we are going to be talking once more about evangelism. We're jumping back into our series, Real Talk About Evangelism, in which we talk about this subject that we as Christians probably feel like we should be doing more of, and maybe we come to it with a little baggage, and chances are, despite our feelings of, you yeah, know, this is probably important, or I should do this, we probably don't do it as much as we feel we should and trust me on this one i'm speaking to myself because i can totally relate but i started this series partly to document my journey of trying to get better at this and encourage you to come along on this journey with me to a life of a bold faith a life where we don't back down from sharing the good news and in today's episode we are talking about maybe the elephant in the room and that is that evangelism is awkward and evangelism is intimidating but i want to encourage you that it doesn't have to be you see if you're like me your face gets red when you start to feel uncomfortable which totally does not help in awkward uncomfortable intimidating situations like evangelism maybe you come to evangelism and you're worried like are they going to think I'm weird? Are they going to have questions I don't have answers to? Are they going to be turned off because I say something wrong? Or like, what are they going to think of me? And just as a side note, like, yes, they they might think you're weird because you are weird. You you you're weird. You you believe in a God you can't see. You believe that He came and died for your sins and is indwelling. Like you're weird, bro. And you're my kind of weird. And. I think it's the best kind of weird and you're weird because you're filled with a weird hope you're filled with a weird faith you're feel filled with a weird belief in a god who is better than we could ever imagine you are weird in the coolest way so you know what so what if people think you're weird but i, I want to delve into that a little deeper because look i get it sharing your faith it can be awkward and my first encouragement with that besides that you're already weird so get over yourself is that it's almost always more awkward in my head it's more intimidating in my head in the build-up to sharing my faith than the actual act of sharing my faith is i often walk away from encounters like that going yeah that wasn't half as scary as i thought it was gonna be and it's like that with so many things in life isn't it that we create more fear we create this sense of oh this conversation is gonna be awkward oh this thing it's gonna be so difficult uncomfortable and then we do it and we're like oh i mean that wasn't that bad and so i just want to encourage you go into it knowing that you know what i'm i'm building this up in my head more than it's actually is and that i'm gonna be okay that this isn't going to be the death of me i will live and not die doing this and then the more you do it, the more comfortable you're going to get with it. I remember one day writing in my journal, literally, and some of you that are like awesome Christians are gonna like laugh at me because this is so pathetic. And I get that and I might laugh at me a little too, but I remember writing in my journal one day, I shared my faith today without my face getting red or without apologizing or without just kind of backing away or shaking in my voice. Today was a good day. And look, maybe that's where you're at. Maybe you just need to take that first step. But after you take that first step, maybe, you know, now your face doesn't get red. Maybe now your voice doesn't shake. Maybe now you're actually not building it up in your head a lot more. And but slowly but surely, it becomes more and more natural. And you begin to fear it less and you get better at it. And you experience the joy that it is to share your faith. And it inspires you to do it more and more because there is an unparalleled joy with getting to see someone introduced to the gospel, getting to have their eyes open to the wonder that is Jesus. And, you know, I also want to address this idea that sharing your faith is intimidating. Like, maybe you don't have all the right answers. Maybe you're not at Bible college. Maybe you haven't read the whole Bible. Maybe you're just not sure what to say if they ask you this question or that question. And I want to just, first of all, encourage you that knowing all the answers is not a prerequisite to being able to share your faith. Now, having a reason for why you believe is a great thing in general for your faith. And in Peter, we're called to have a reason, be prepared to give a reason for the hope that you 
have be prepared to give an answer for the hope that is within you. And so, yes, it's worthwhile to think about, you know, why do I believe this? But more importantly, we are simply called to share the good news. And as we've talked, the gospel is good news. It's the greatest news there is that God is infinitely better than we could have ever imagined that he died for us out of his self-sacrificial, unending love for us. And so while you may not go in and have every answer, I want to encourage you, your job is not to argue people into the faith. That very rarely works. Now, to have answers, yes, that's great. But I want to encourage you that don't keep not knowing everything from allowing you to share your faith. If you wait till you know everything, you will never share your faith because none of us have all the right answers. But it's our job to go out and spread that message. And maybe with this person, they don't come to the faith that time that you share with them, but maybe you plant a seed or maybe you do see salvation, but whether seed or salvation, you have done your job and you will walk away more in love with Christ and having a deeper union with him and having a greater passion for sharing the gospel after each and every time that you do this. So the key is to just get that ball rolling, to not allow this fear to stop you. And truly, at the root of many of our excuses as to why we don't share the gospel, even though we know we should, is that terrible thing that plagues all of us called fear. We're scared of what people might think about us. And we're scared that we might not do it right, or we're just scared of being uncomfortable. And while I get all of that, and I can relate to all that, it, it's time to tell you that that's not good enough. And I'm not trying to be hard on you, and I'm, I'm saying this to me too, because I think we all need to hear it. But the fact is that's, that's just not a good enough excuse. You see, we are called to not fear, to be courageous. Do not fear. Fear not it is littered throughout the Bible so, so many times. In fact, people have counted it, and some people say it's the most common moral imperative in the Bible. The most common ethical command is to not be afraid because God is with us, that his perfect love, it drives out our fear. So when we have that perfect love from God coming to us, we realize that we are enough, that it doesn't matter if people think we're weird. It doesn't matter if people think less of us. It doesn't matter what they say about us because we have the love of our heavenly father. And then in that case, fear has no place. If you're afraid of being uncomfortable, I hate to break it to you, but the Christian life isn't a life of comfort. It is a life of weird discomfort. The Christian life is a life of boldness. It's an audacious life. It's a life where we step outside of ourselves and we go out and use our lives for the good of others. Your comfort is not what you are to be worshiping in the Christian life. Far too often we have made an idol of our own comfort and today that stops because it's simply not good enough. That this fear of being uncomfortable, this fear of being ridiculed, of being found to be weird, of not having all the right answers, that's simply not good enough when the message we are carrying is a message of life and death importance that could change not only their life on earth, but their entire eternity, their family line, and their position with God. How can we not share this message, this message that has changed the world and will continue to change the world one changed life at a time? It is a message too good to not share. This is a light we can't keep hidden, but a light that needs to be spread into the world because we live in a world that is hurting and dying and broken and is in desperate need of this. So please, I know it's awkward. I know it's intimidating, but we can do better. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Seriously, it it means so much to me that you would give me however much of your time this has been up to this point and just really made this investment in yourself to hear maybe something that you really needed to hear that evangelism is awkward and intimidating but we can still push through it that we have a message that's worth sharing if you enjoyed this video i encourage you to click like leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts i love reading those i love interacting with you guys on those and if you want to follow me on instagram or social media you can find me on instagram at austin.sugs got to interact with some of you guys the other day which really just made my day and so if you have not subscribed yet, of course, be sure to do that and become part of this community where we talk about life, Jesus, and the journey of faith in a real honest and open way. Until next time, guys, be sure to be on the lookout for the next videos and peace. Love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.